Well, I'm back and I'm going to use the blush lip color now. And so I got a sea sponge and that's what I use for my mottling. So I use that color for the mottling and I kind of pat it and add a little color here and there. Yeah, so now I gotta take the cosmetic sponge because we don't want it that bright. So we're gonna take a little bit of the mottling off. And since a toddler it's a toddler, I'm not gonna add too much. I just want to add a little bit to its face. Give it a little color. And we'll add a little more to the cheeks, a little on top of the nose, a little to the chin. All right, now I'm just adding bl blushing and mottling and trying to make it look cute. Why is your mottling not coming out good? So you just kind of have to keep doing it till you like it. And so... That's why sometimes you have to do extra layers because for some reason the mottling's not wanting to show up on this cheek, so I might have to go over it later. Pink to the ears. So I'm going to put the face down. Why is your blush not showing up over here, sweetheart? There we go. Huh. I don't know if I might have to strip it and redo it a little bit. I'm just not liking how that's looking, so. and I got a little water and I can wipe that down let it dry and redo it just don't know baby no, we definitely don't want that much on your lips my goodness His mouth is probably going to be a little harder to do because there's not really a defined lip line. So I might have to refer to Thomas on how to get his lips just looking real good. So it's okay to look at pictures, you know, if you're having troubles where the color should be or whatever. You can sneak a little peek at other people's artwork. 
so. Guys. So we're going to add some color to the bottom of the feet. So don't mind husband laughing in the background. He's watching a movie. And so we'll just add color to all the places we need. So since he's a toddler, I'm just adding a little bit of light mottling and patting it on his legs and stuff. And then I add a little extra at the knees because I want the knees to be more blushed. And that's okay to take a break and add more later and just kind of let the paint settle and see how you like it and if you want to add more. Because I just want to add a little slight mottling. And fix any boo-boos that I see. I don't like how that ceases. Keep adding color as you go. So we'll be back. So I use a speed sponge, sea sponge, and watered down paint, and that's how I add my coloring. Okay. How'd you get extra paint on you? Oh, I got paint on me. That's how it's. And as you see, be careful you don't get paint on your fingers. Otherwise, you'll be fixing where you touch the baby. So. <laughs> so. You know, just have fun, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you can take your mistakes off with the sponge and just kind of blend the paint and it looks natural.
So you, know, you got to be very careful how you put the blue on. See how dark that shows up? Just putting a little bit on. Blushing and modeling to the feet and legs. Because I don't want to add too much because it's a little toddler, so. And I'll be back when I'm done with this. And just, you know, take your time, guys. Have fun with it. And once I have her where I want her, then I'll add another later, probably a flesh. And we'll be back. Thanks for watching. Bye.